Pix 106, Quinn and Cantera. All right, it's Pix 106, Quinn and Cantera. 1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. Paul Harding on the horn. From Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Now, Paul, earlier this morning we had uh, Andrew Lewis uh, on the phone on the show. He's the, the grandson of the grandmother who's who paid who ponied up eighty two thousand dollars cash for a modular home basically paid in full and now the valued homes company isn't delivering to the point where she's been living in a hotel for months because they didn't finish the job and it technically is unlivable she's got a case here doesn't she paul she does uh she clearly uh, has a case she bought something she didn't get what she was supposed to get but of course as i read into that a little bit it looks like the manufacturer of this uh Modular home is filed bankruptcy. Oh. So, so, but here's my question: If if my business files bankruptcy and I'm in the process of completing your modular home, do I have to go on and complete it? Like when it comes down to like having a place to live for a human being, I feel like there should be a rule that you know you got to make sure a place is livable before you. You know what I mean, Paul? Yeah, I sure do. You know, you end up in a situation where the attorney general will get involved. They said they're already kind of looking into it. They'd heard about this, and they look at their consumer protection division. But the reality is it can't get, you know, blood from a stone approach, right? So this set of facts, we've got this elderly woman who doesn't have a home. Boy, it feels a lot different than, you know, if you're not getting some something in the mail that you bought from a right. company who right. now declares bankruptcy. But ultimately, uh, the question is, are there any assets at all uh, in that company? Is there enough and can they come and complete the home or at least get paid for what they're doing to complete the home? Because I brought up the same point about filing bankruptcy and not having to complete the job to the kid, uh, the grandson. But what he told me is, and I don't know if it's a factor, allegedly this company has a history of not paying their bills and not finishing jobs. Yeah, what would, about that? Would that be a factor? Sure is. You know, because if you've got the fraud piece, you know, and you've got that they've been operating this way and not doing it, I don't know that they have or haven't, but if you can prove a pattern of that, now it can you go into that bankruptcy and you can go outside of it where any personal assets that the people have they can't hide behind a bankruptcy if they've been op- operating fraudulently but that's a really difficult standard to prove and just don't know uh, and and I guess there's been a tragedy in their household where the the, the, the the husband and son of the owner passed away and I don't know any of those facts but it's got that feel where this company is just kind of trickling down and and will there be anything to help complete this house hey paul we'll have to wait and see how many do you i mean did I, I, I there's probably a number out there but i mean bankruptcies in general both you know businesses and and and, and personal bankruptcies how many of them are done for, for you know in order to prevent them being busted for fraud how many people file bankruptcy when they don't maybe don't need to when they maybe don't need to or they're yeah, very kind of- very few if any they, they scrutinize the bankruptcy court judges are really good investigating to see where that money is, what happened, is there a pattern, you know. And to do it, oftentimes you don't have this sort of clean bankruptcy. You got that, you're going to pay, if you owe $100,000, you might end up paying 20000 to 10 creditors, right? You got to pay something. So, yeah, if they do that, you can get into the criminal realm, you know, because they can, the attorney general can refer to district attorneys and things like that. And I just don't know what's here. I just know that, boy, I wish we, you know, wish we could just get her in that house and get that house completed, and then they could kind of figure out what else is happening well, with this. The good this news, company. Paul, is is uh, the grandson told us by a the week? end of next week, okay. family and friends have stepped up yeah. to finish the work. So the grandmother, the 82-year-old or 84-year-old woman, can get into that house by the end of next week. Where would you advise people listening now who may be in a similar, sa- a similar situation with values, ho- valued homes where their work wasn't finished? What, what can they do? The New York State Attorney General has opened up a file, and you can call them, and you can get you then will become part of that case and be notified with all development. But I need a lawyer, Paul. All my funds are trapped in my house. I can't. I got. I got to fix my kitchen. I don't have money to but pay a lawyer to file these. What I got? I don't know what to do. Well, that's what, that's does what the I, attorney general work off work for us anyway? Well, you think so? He does. It's free. Yeah. It's free. So he'll right, do good. the work. Yeah. All right. Good. That's yeah, good stuff. It's making sure. But again, eighty-four year old woman, she can go down and have to file a complaint with the attorney general. It just seems wrong yeah. to me. This is sure. nice though to have Paul on with a discussion that isn't some zany, wacky morning show topic. <laughs> yeah. And it really Really is something that it, honestly, like somebody may be hearing this and actually be helped by this. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's exactly. not all fun and games on this show. You got it. Sometimes pal. it's getting grandma we're, in the home. We're trying to get grandma yeah. in place. Yeah, absolutely. Paul, right. great job this morning. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Okay, talk soon, guys. One eight hundred Law ten ten. One eight hundred Law ten ten dot com. Paul Harding.